All right, JHK here for Sports Kita. Join me right now is UFC middleweight Phil Hawes. Phil, you just got done with training. What were you doing? Man, uh, I was just putting the fire, some, uh, the final finishing touches on this beatdown. Uh, some <laughs> bad works, some boxing, you know, the usual, just getting these hands sharp. All right, all right, man. Well, you know, you're 3-0 in the UFC, 4-0 if you add the contender series, seven-fight win streak, 32 years young. Some people uh -huh. say, man, you're in your prime. Physically, mentally, spiritually, do you feel this way? Man, yeah, just like you said, I feel like I'm in my prime. I feel like I've, I've been in my prime because, you know, I haven't been slowing down and I feel strong, man. I feel I feel young, you know. I think it's not necessarily your age, it's how you live, you know, and I think I live right. I live the right way, so um, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's my time. Well, you know, your last fight, Kyle Dawkins, you go in there, unanimous decision. Two judges gave you 30-26. Pretty rare in this sport. Do, do you feel like yeah. you answered all the questions you need to answer yeah. heading into the next fight? Uh, yeah, I, th I think so. I think I still have some naysayers, but th that's not where I go in my competition trying to prove them wrong. I try to prove the people around me right. I try to prove myself right, you know what I mean? So uh, let the naysayers talk, and I'm just keep winning. Then I'll probably uh, have the belt, you know, and they'll still be talking smack. So it's not my job. That's uncontrollable, you know, and I can't, I can't control what they say or think or do. I just can't control what I do. Yeah, 100 percent, so, man, 100 percent. You could win the belt, and the people will still be pointing at something, right? That's how it works. But yeah. it is what it is. You had you dyed your hair blonde ahead of the fight, and then during yeah. the fight, everybody's like, "Why is the part of his head still yeah. black?" Like, I'm trying to do some yeah. investigative uh, journalism right here, man. Like, tell yeah. us what happened. It's just a little trial and error. I haven't bleached <laughs> my hair in quite some time, so I didn't know like. The process of you know if you over dyed or whatever you know it started falling out, but I'm there for a fight and like I said it was it, like my hair was uncontrollable you know so I, I didn't want to worry about it you know I don't want to be freaking out like oh shit my hair you know so uh, I just had to focus on the fight like I don't care what it looks like I'm here to fight it doesn't matter but we 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 we, we got the process down we're good the hair is blonde and uh, it's gonna stay blonde uh, and it's not gonna fall out so we're good so we're yeah. good. And also, like, the reason why I asked you, because after that fight, I saw a video you put up. You're hitting the bag. And I thought, I swear to God, I thought it was Kevin Randleman. You, from the back, <laughs> you look just like him. Did people say that to you? Yeah, I get, I get that. I get that a lot. Definitely from our Brazilian friends. That was a couple, they, always, they don't say they are, so they say Handleman, Kevin Randleman. You know what I mean? Uh, he's definitely a pioneer to a sport, of the sport. Mm -hmm. And he's definitely one of the main reasons I did it. You know, watching him being a... Uh, Collegiate wrestler and slamming people on his head definitely inspiration to me. So yeah, Kevin Random is definitely a guy. I um, I look to model my hair after, and he's my hair inspo. I say. All right, all right. Now, shortly after the Dawkins fight, I saw that you signed a new deal with the UFC. It must feel good, man, to re up and get paid more, right? Yeah, it's not bad. I remember uh, this time last year I was delivering pizzas and doing Uber. Damn. Now when I go to the bank, the bank tail. Bank tailors flirt a little bit, so I mean, <laughs> life is good right now. It's not bad. You you doing the flirting with the bank tailors? Hey, it's not. It's, it's worse than them looking at me like, uh, you know. So, yeah. Uh, life is good. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. Well, let's talk about this fight coming up, July seventeenth. Duran win. When when you signed the Dockers fight, there was some talk from him. When you booked that fight, has that continued? Have you heard anything through the grapevine? I heard a little bit, but I, I try not to focus on that. You know what I mean? I'm too busy focusing on this beatdown. So, uh, man, I can't believe you didn't think I would accept the fight, you know. Um, but that's not how I am, you know. Uh, a lot of people get double booked, but they end up pulling out, you know what I mean? But I, I didn't. I'm, I'm sticking to my word, and I, I believe I'm the best in the world, and I'm doing it. Like, uh, I, that shows uh, faith in the company to believe me to double book me on two events. And I'm pulling it out, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get another victory and on my way to the title. Definitely. Wind, he's 2-2 two and two in the UFC. Pretty rocky yeah. career so far for him. What are your thoughts on him as a fighter and, and his style of fighting? Him as a fighter, he comes from a really good camp, you know what I mean? And man, as a fighter, he's a tough wrestler. Uh, so he's got, some, he's got some things that I focus on. But, you know, I, I feel like the people I fought in the past were tougher matchups. Nasser Dean, uh, sick elbows, sick knees, uh, tough uh, Russian uh, fighter. And then we had Kyle Dawkins, tons of experience, southpaw, long range. These guys are six three. Um, you know, uh, he was a CFC champ. You know what I mean? So I I faced tougher opposition on paper. You know what I mean? But I'm coming to this fight ready. Like this guy's easy. So uh, every fight I prepare, I prepare for. Like I'm 
preparing for Izzy, and everyone knows Izzy's a monster. And uh, yeah, I'm ready. So, where do you feel like you are the biggest threat for win? Man, I, I think if you look on it, like all around, man. Like I'm, I'm a toughest, I'm a toughest takedown. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take him down. My striking's better, cleaner, more crisp. I've been in the game longer. I have more experience. I mean, you look at the numbers, and it's it's a clear shutout. But the fight's have to be fought, and I know I'm going to be in there prepared, so I'm ready. I can't wait. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be my best performance. Your last two fights, they were on a few weeks' notice. This time around, how many weeks have you invested for this fight? Man, uh, for this fight, so I knew about this fight before Cal Dawkins, so I think we're talking about two months, right? So, yeah, so, like, uh, Nasser Dean, I think that was on three weeks. Then I got pushed back. Then Cal Dawkins was, like, three or four weeks. got pushed back. That, that actually went through but uh yeah but i mean when you're the best in the world it doesn't matter how many weeks they give you you know like you just there to scrap and you're prepared always in the gym so i'm ready all right now a win over the wrong win do you think that that warrants a, a top 15 guy next or maybe a, a well-known name in the division what do you think man you no know, i mean i think that it warrants uh freaking izzy man like um let's 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 stop, let's stop uh, playing games here, you know what I mean? I just learned I'm from Nigeria, and uh, he's from Nigeria. I think we got to figure out who's the king of Nigeria, you know what I mean? Let's bring it. Let's bring the fight. Let's bring the title fight to uh, Africa, you know? Um, yeah, let's stop, let's stop sacrificing these guys, putting them in there, losing brain cells, you know what I mean? Just, hey, just step away from the belt and let's get this going. Let me, let me get the title. You want that rocket ship on you, Yeah, huh? let's do it. What are we playing games for? We know what it is. All right, well, yeah. while we're speaking about Izzy, man, he just recently defended his title against Marvin Vittori. Some say it was an average performance. Some say it was an intelligent performance. What did yeah. you see out of Izzy in that fight? Man, I was there, uh, and uh, I, I thought he did what he was going to do, you know? I think, I think, he's, he think he's special. He's good. He's really freaking good. And that's, why, that, that's what makes me know I'm going to beat him because I know how good he is. And I know you just have to, can't, you can't just take him down. You, you can't just strike with him. You have to do everything. You have to do MMA. You know what I mean? And that's why I know I have the keys to beat him because I know how tough he is, you know. And that inspired me after his performance. I went and ran right after, you know what I mean? So I'm so pumped up and so ready to be here. I'm in my prime. I'm ready to go. Definitely, definitely, man. And it looks like Robert Whitaker will fight Izzy before you fight him. Yeah, so yeah, do you see... Politics. <laughs> yeah, politics. <laughs> do you... What do you see in that rematch, though? You see it going any different? No, I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think uh, Robert Whitaker. I don't think he even wrestled a little bit. I mean, you got to fake some takedowns. You got to get him thinking. You just can't go out there with a, a single approach and think you're going to be Izzy. It's not going to work, you know. Um, but I wish him the best. But I think I'm going to be the one to defeat. I know I'm going to be the one to defeat throwing Izzy in Africa. Let's get it to Africa. Let's go. Definitely. Well, man, I'm up for it. Africa is a place where I want to go to, man. I want to go to a UFC oh. show in Africa. We'd love to meet you there. But before all that happens, man, July 17th, UFC Fight Night Las Vegas. Appreciate the time, Phil, and uh, good luck to you, man. Hey, thank you, bro. Thank you for having me.